Scorpio, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We got this full moon in Scorpio coming up, and this can either be a great time for you or it can absolutely wreak havoc, but uh, I feel a lot of messages coming in and coming out. Communication for you guys could be crazy right now, so let's get into this. Spirit, help me get clear and precise messages for my viewers, the rest of my angels, archangels, God, block interferences and negativity, return it to where it belongs. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for hitting that like, comment, and subscribe, getting these numbers up, helping the message get out to others who may need it. If you ever need a personal reading, that information is always in the description box below, as well as my PayPal and Cash App links. If you're waiting on a personal reading, make sure to keep up with your emails, because like I said, communication is kind of uh, chaotic right now. This is going to be a free general read for my Scorpio babes. Scorpio, I hope you're doing well. Um, if you're not, please keep in mind that you can use this energy, the light, the pull from this specific moon, 111, to really work in great ways in your life. Um, if you believe that this moon is going to cause, you know, mayhem in your life, or if you believe that these alignments are going to be catastrophic for you, most likely they will be. I used to think like that and then I had to learn well actually these can work in my favor I was born early the night of a full moon so I'm like heavily heavily affected by them I don't sleep well during full moons um, I'm like one of the plants that only blooms during a full moon because I have so much freaking energy some of you guys could be having nightmares or be kind of like sleepless and restless right now as well. You have Matthew 5.5. 5. You could be dealing with some drama, some conflict, some competition, and you could be shutting something down. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. On the back it says, Lord, keep me meek so that the love of Christ will shine through me to others. So meek. The first sign you have showing up is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And the first phrase you have is obsessed. This will probably be uh, a look into the rest of April and then into May for sure. Um, but I've, I've had some people be like, when do you think, you know, this is going to happen? When do you think that? The, the, these general raids are really different for everybody, but I have had people say that the stuff usually happens within three days, three weeks, and three months. I have given a read, and I was under the impression it had literally nothing to do with me, and it was just for my audience. And then a week later, stuff started happening, and I was like, that's what, that's what that reading was talking about. It kind of... Sometimes it kind of sucks, but... All right. And then some of it may not be for you at all. Some of it may not resonate for you at all, especially if we're nearing a full moon. You may find more information in your other signs, your moon sign. signs are coming in for Scorpio? What signs is Scorpio dealing with? So I have a shady energy that I'm picking up on already. It feels like this person may feel stagnant or not very happy with their life, whereas you are meek, blessed, happy. I keep seeing something that says it's dangerous to be happy around unhappy people. So we have Virgo and Pluto, Scorpio and Virgo energy. Um, somebody in your energy may not be very happy with themselves right now. And for you to be on a come up, um, be careful about the company you keep because they could do things to you to bring you down a notch. Especially if it's a masculine. I don't know why people like to do that, but they do. 
just coming in. See an error again. Sun, Leo, heavy Leo, could be dealing with a Leo Virgo cusp or somebody that has these signs heavily aspected, Capricorn Virgo Taurus. So some fire and some exposing as well, Cancer. Bottom of the deck we have Saturn, Venus, Aries, Pisces, Taurus, Mercury. So quite a bit of Pisces as well. Could be any of these signs, it doesn't have to be any of them. We have projection. And mastery. <laughs> definitely feel someone could be uh, switching up somebody could be projecting their unhappiness onto you or they could feel at a low point or a stressed point and they could be trying to drag you down to it these things that they're insecure with about themselves or something like that they're trying to put it off onto you but you're so used to this you're like Block. Yeah, astrology, destiny, fragmented, clarity, yeah. Um, you might be feeling that someone is fake, someone shady. You can't trust you can't trust their words, you can't really trust their actions, like, something like that. Um, you're also very used to just people in general, um, at work, in relationships, and family, that whatever is going on with them, they will try to put it off onto you, and I just see you, like, you've mastered understanding unhappy people like that. What's the overall energy coming in? Lots, chance, numerology, precision, seeker. So you could be maybe taking some risks. You could also be very focused on something uh, while on one thing while somebody else is uh, taking some risks. Something is coming in for you though that is kind of going to feel like a luck of the draw.
know your previous reads talked about, you know, taking some time out for yourself, understanding when you need to take a break and be most self-caring. Something to be important about your mom. It's projection. A selfie in her skin reclaiming authenticity and then homeland came out. The experiments card was stuck in there. Reclaiming your authenticity and then arrival, a journey ends, establishment, building and settled. Reflections and then the scrying mirror here. What you contemplate can actualize. So this could be somebody else's energy. It could be energy of like putting you on a you know, a pedestal, we talked about that previously, where someone's, their own insecurities are getting the best of them. Something could have to do with someone that you've known for a very long time. Settled. A journey ends. <laughs> Look at the scrying mirror and the mirror. Know thyself, self-examination, seeing who you really are. So something is going on here with the mirror. Maybe somebody doesn't like that you know who you are, you're falling back in love with your reflection, um, you, you are just being yourself. And they love who you are, but they don't love that you love who you are. What in the world? It's like somebody wants you to, I guess, be insecure or be more basic. Be insecure. Be basic. You're like... <laughs> Bye. Scorpio now. Divine sensuality, making love, erotic. <clears throat> What's mastery? What's coming in with mastery? Wisdom, colony, delicacy, fragility, works that are created over great periods of time. So, everything you've been through, you could be kind of bored with people's behavior as like predictable or something. Like you've already, you've already mastered this, like you've already been, you've already done this. <laughs> Somebody could be doing the same thing over and over again. But you're super authentic right now, super uh, sensual. Somebody thinks you are like the hottest of hot, but it's almost like their insecurity is making them, you know, treat you like you're not or something. What's this chance up here? What's the overall energy coming in with chance? Wave of 
power sanctuary yeah taking a step back working on self-care surge of power upswing and energy this this full moon energy exhilarating movement some of you could be like yeah privacy inviolate personal space respected boundaries and taboos Some of you could be spending some time alone and it's making you want some company. Some of you could be going from a, a shady company to someone that makes you feel secure, like that you don't have to worry about them being shady. You believe you you believe what they're what they're saying. Something is also working out in your favor. Something could be work something could be, you know, like showing up that feels like Makes you feel kind of like um, vulnerable because you have you are always trying to be your true authentic self, and then whenever you get disrespected for it, you're like, "What's wrong with me? I, I showed I showed you my skin, my real skin." However, when this happens, or if this happens to you, and you start to feel this shady energy, you need to back up because it's working out in your favor. I mean. Everything is meant to happen the way it happens. So I just, I definitely wouldn't question it. I would back up as you head into the rest of the spring and summer and only attract what makes you feel good. If it don't feel good, stay the fuck away from it. Don't even question it. Don't, and it feels like that's exactly what you're doing. It's almost like you're so used to people coming and going that you have mastered it, like you've already been through this. It could be a little more, you know, potent because it's it could be a family relationship or perhaps a coworker that you've worked with for a long time. Yeah, low vibe. Stay away from low vibe energies right now. If it makes you start feeling low, mm mm. You could just need some space, time, space. Somebody is having like a hard time and maybe they feel like they're dragging you down. Somebody could have an addiction that they're trying to get over. They don't want you to see it. But yes, they're coming off as fraud, fake or shady in some kind of way. What's coming in with projection and the selkie? Somebody is also trying to maybe say something about you or make you feel a certain kind of way about yourself. But the selfie in her skin, like, you fucking know who you are. You know who you are. There ain't a damn thing that a mirror can project onto you that you, you know who you are. What is this coming in with projection and authenticity? Yeah, you got jealous energy around you right now. There's also something about people trying to put their shit onto you. I'm not your bitch, don't hang your shit on me. Yep, all right. into you. But it wanted to come out with a um, clout chaser. So somebody's, somebody's own jealousy could be getting to their head. It's coming in with sensuality. Scorpio? 
Yeah, succubus can be feminine energy. Succubus is feminine energy, but there are so many dudes that act in succubus energy. For whoever said that. Oh, snap. So you got some feminines checking you out or something like that. You could be checking a feminine out, or if you're a masculine, you got other dudes checking you out or something. Spirit showing up. Misery loves company. I'm telling you, dude. Somebody wants you to be low, be down. Got Aries popping out. It's coming in for Scorpio sensuality. That impersonator. Somebody could use sex to try to come off us one way when they're not. Mastery and wisdom. Unbothered, yeah, burnt out. Something is played the fuck out. It's predictable. It's predictable behavior. It's overdone. Mastery and wisdom. What's coming in for Scorpio? Yeah, peace. Good for you. Somebody thinks that, and it could it could definitely be a masculine or a feminine behaving in a masculine energy when they think that they're gonna do something unpredictable. But you've been through it so many fucking times, possibly over and over with the same person, that it's too fucking predictable nowadays. There was some kind of choice. There was some kind of choice that you looked very confused with in the past couple of reads. Peace, for sure. Um, it looks like something could be coming in. The luck of the draw. That this wave of power that make, that takes this confusion away and makes some kind of decision or some kind of unclarity very uh, easy to deal with in the future. came out. Perfect. Put it over there. Baby dad, low IQ, caught a case. Karmic female, hustling, pure, the ex, jail. <laughs> Wolf in sheep's clothing. Oh, Lord. Okay, what's the overall energy over here with spirit? Yeah, either you could be burnt out and ghosted. Either, either you could be ghosting someone because you're burnt out with the same fucking shit over and over again, or you've gotten so used to these, like, childish fucking games that it's just, it's just tiring, it's boring, like... So a lot of lust here still, a lot of, you know, I also could see you getting bored with the same old, like, lust is fun for a night, but it's what comes after that, that, you know, excites a Scorpio, it's like,
spirit doing over here with power and chance. What's spirit doing? Yeah. Somebody may not be behaving correctly and I guess they don't realize that they're wrapping up their own karma as well. You could be very used to seeing this, so. Dang, pure keeps showing up. Good for you, Scorpio. You don't want to hurt no one. You don't want to be hurt. Good for you. Here we are, lust and pure. What are you doing, spirit? Snake energy. Betrayal, cheating, pathological liar, snake, mother figure, drugs, sick, Taurus. Bad health. Well, damn. Anyway, you got a spirit definitely protecting you, blocking you from some kind of snake energy that could potentially bring bad health in, especially if there being a snake behind your back, promiscuous, betrayal, cheating, pathological liar, thief, hater, cousin, um, yeah, I, oof. know that you're being protected. What the heck, dad? Stalking father figure, five O demonic, fake account. So you got a masculine watching you. This person could remind you of your father, or it could be your father keeping an eye out on you. Chiron and Scorpio. Yeah, somebody is like a big time self-sabotaging energy. Someone's in like self-sabotage energy right now. And if they're going to sabotage themselves, Scorpio, you know that they will sabotage you and whatever you got going on. So yeah, take all the time and space you need right now. If something feels draining to you, you know, take a break from it. We do have what Pluto and Jupiter conjunction. For some of y'all, some of y'all could have an Aries mom or a Taurus mom. Some of y'all could have Aries or Taurus fathers. Anyway, there a lot of work is being, they're having to work a lot right now. What is this over here with Saturn? Something could be popping up. Um, from your past with Homeland coming out, a lot of people from your past could be Popping up, showing up, playing a role in what's whatever this is going on now. It's almost like the more unhealthy snake type energy comes around you, it almost like gives you power, like gives you energy. Okay. This mom is Taurus. Scorpio. So you got your parents, your family members, your exes thinking about you right now. Large waves of wisdom, emotional cleansing. This full moon in Scorpio is probably making a lot of people think about you. You've also got ancestors uh, coming towards you, Leo energy. 
You've got ancestors coming towards you that have something to do with your family, uh, family members of other families or something. What's this? this is Saturn is the dead. Imprints connect lasting impression. So it's coming in with projection and into Capricorn. Could be dealing with Capricorn. Discipline, ambitious, persistent. Could be dealing with Sagittarius, Capricorn, Cusp. It's into you. Pisces, surrender, dreams, endings, old age, poetry. The 12th house. Virgo. Could be dealing with a Capricorn that you've known since childhood. This, yeah. This could be the self-sabotaging energy. It doesn't have to be a Capricorn. It could be anybody, but they're acting in this devil energy, low vibe, impersonator, and sensuality. Bloom and blossom, expansion, with more Sagittarian energy, expansion, expansion, Luck, wisdom, healing, influence, wealth, law, religious, higher education. Somebody could be having a lot of dreams about you right now. They think about you constantly. Mastery and wisdom. Aquarius and Cancer. So make it have an Aquarius moon, Cancer moon. Oh shit, the Capricorn and Aquarius thing again. Yeah, something is definitely coming in. Something's happening for you. Beauty, love, luxury, desire, devotion. Um, that it that shifts your gaze, it shifts your focus. Scorpio and Aquarius. You could be dealing with an Aquarius attraction and Libra. There's also a Libra in your energy that's really like attracted to you. Obviously, they so you could be heading into a Commitment of some sort, a contract of some sort, a new job or lease. Somebody might know that you have, I don't know, like a lot of people looking at you and it makes them feel insecure. Celebration, fun, and enjoyment. Exactly. All right, what's the overall energy over here with spirit, bad health, snake energy? Uh, so, yeah, there's also energy here, if somebody is behaving in this low vibe energy, um, that they could be spreading bad health conditions. And so you taking a step back, if they're behaving like a fucking snake, you taking a step back because believe it or not, there are men and women that will intentionally spread their bad health with projection over there. 
Especially if they look at you like, oh, you think you're so perfect? I'm going to make you not perfect. I'm seeing like a little girl coming to school with her hair done and these low, these fucking kids cutting her hair when she's not watching. Bad health and sneeze the spirit. <clears throat> Gemini, third eye awakening, dualistic, perceptive communication. New levels of awareness available to assist in your evolution. Do not shy away from a soul revolution. So, um, there's that mirroring energy again as well. It's coming in with snake. What is that? Moonlit minerals. And Pisces again. Lies, illusion, confusion. Somebody may not have a disease, but they're bound to get one with the way that they act. You're being warned to stay away from that, cyclical. Aries, Virgo, Pisces again. Fertility, deep wounds, Taurus. Good for you, Scorp. Got Aries and Taurus, and Aries and Taurus over here. Alright, I'm going to leave this here, meditate on it for a second, and I will catch you guys in the tarot. Bye!